This exercise is called the no feet, no hook snatch that I am performing in this video. Why do I do this lift? Because I usually throw my head and body behind the bar too soon during the lift. By doing this exercise, I am able to force my chest to stay over the bar longer, which keeps my head in position as well. This will help me execute the bar path more properly throughout the lift and I will not lose my lift forward or backwards. Another reason this exercise helps me improve is because I'm a very toey weightlifter. That means I get up on my toes too soon during the lift. Instead, I need to keep my feet flat so I can use my full foot to get in a position to pull the bar back into my body and use most of my leg power to drive the bar upward. If my feet are not flat, the bar will tend to get away from my body and I will not be able to use my full leg power to pull the bar in position and to move the bar upward. Normally, I, am a, I lose the bar forward a lot, so this exercise helps me keep that bar back into my body. The athletes that will benefit from using this exercise are athletes that are constantly losing the bar in front of them or behind them. Athletes that are not able to reach full extension in their lift. And then when an athlete needs to learn to keep their feet flat on the ground so they're able to generate more power through their legs. There's not much room for air by doing this exercise because there's no hook grip or no feet movement. So if you don't keep the bar close the entire time or keep your chest over the bar or keep your feet flat on the ground so you can use your legs, you will really see a lot of missed lifts. So my recommendation for the load, the weight used in this exercise would be to keep it moderate load something like maybe 70%. I believe that I am using about 73% of my one rep max in this video. You can go up higher the more success you have with this exercise, but for the beginning, I would keep it pretty light so you're able to execute this exercise properly.